What up YouTube, this your boy Download back with another industry talk. So Lil Scrappy checked himself into rehab for marijuana addiction. The reason for this is very simple man. He got caught up in a probation violation because he came with fake piss to his piss test. And which he got caught because the piss was still cold. So he's putting himself through two weeks of rehab hoping that this will keep him out of jail once he goes to court about it. And to keep it 100 I don't see that happening. I don't think they're going to just slap him on the wrist for this shit because he blatantly tried to fake the shit and got caught. And just overall, Scrappy, this was fucking stupid. Are you so weak that you can't stop smoking weed, really? And are you so stupid to think that they're not going to notice that the piss is cold? You really deserve the consequences of these actions all the way around. Next, Wiz Khalifa then teamed up with flat fitty luxury headwear to create high-end seasonal caps pretty much doing the same thing what Dr. Dre did to the headphones to the hat game I guess and you know what with his notoriety man it's a pretty good idea now me personally I'll spend $20 and some change on a fitted cap if it's a design that not many people out there got but that's pretty much where I draw the line I mean, I would pretty much never buy a luxury hat, but I'm not knocking the hustle, man. It's a little different than what everyone else got going on out there, and I hope he sees some success from it. And lastly, Lauren Hill responded to a lot of the criticism that she's been getting about her latest track, Neurotic Society, in which you can look into the description. I posted up the link for it. Now, she pretty much goes into why she created this track, her inspiration, and the deeper meaning that's within it. But this definitely goes back to multiple things that I've said on The Daily Show multiple times, man. First thing is, she's doing what she's supposed to do. You never trash your own music, even though the music that you put out is fucking terrible. Like, we can all admit it that this track wasn't very good, her heart wasn't in it, and she's done much better in the fucking past. But yet, you can't shit your music that you put out there because you start looking full of shit once you do that. But another thing I said on the show, especially recently, that I caught a lot of flack about on Lupe Fiasco's song, that animal form, is that good lyrics is not going to save a song, man. The song has to be good first and foremost, and secondly, have a meaning, have good lyrics to it. Because real talk, it has to be appealing to the ears first in order for people to break it down lyrically, in order to understand where you're coming from. It only makes fucking sense. Like, people don't get it that good music has to at least first sound good to you. See, a lot of dick riders out there try to say the contrary, man, that you should always pay attention to the lyrics even if the song is fucking terrible, when that is fucking stupid. How the hell can good music not sound good? How the hell can good music not have good beats? These people are so focused on trying to make themselves be deep and understand deeper meanings that they go completely over the fact that the song wasn't good to fucking begin with. In which that is the most important part of every goddamn track, is that it's good. But anyway, this was another industry topic.